I'm going to show you how to install roles and features on a Windows Server using configuration files. So a configuration file is basically a template of how we want our server set up, which specifies which roles and features we want installed. And then we can just run a PowerShell command, which looks at that file and then sets our server up. So the first thing we want to do is actually create a configuration file. And the easiest way to do this is within Server Manager. We can go to Manage and then Add Roles and Features. And then basically we can just run through this wizard, selecting all of the roles and features that we want installed. So in this example, I just want DHCP and DNS. What you can do is you can select as many of these roles and features as you want. I'm just going to use two just for the example. And then if we keep going next through the wizard, when we get to the final page, instead of clicking install, we can export a configuration settings file. We can then save this locally somewhere. So I'll just save this on the C drive and create a folder called configs. And then I'll save it within here. Now, instead of doing the install, I'll just press cancel. And if I open up File Explorer and come to our configs folder, we can see we've now got a configuration template file. And then within this, it's just some XML with those settings we've just selected. So now if we want to install, for example, DHCP and DNS on any server, we don't have to use the add roles and features wizard. What we can do is we can just take this template file. We can open up with PowerShell on any of the servers that we want those features installed. And then we can run the following command, which is install dash windows feature and then dash configuration file path. And then we can just enter the path of that configuration file. And now when we run this command, what it's going to do is going to look at this configuration file. It's going to check all of the settings within it and then start installing the roles and features that are specified in that file and then setting our Windows Server up. And now that's finished, it says success equals true. It tells us that it's installed the DHCP server, DNS server and the DHCP server tools. And if we come back to server manager and then to add roles and features, and then just click through the wizard. We can now see the DHCP and DNS server roles are installed. And then if we try and open up those management consoles, so if we open up DHCP, we can see DHCP is installed. And the same with DNS. If we open up DNS, we can see the DNS server is installed and it will let us create zones. So that's how you can create configuration templates and then set up your Windows Server based on the configuration template that you have created.